Hi, I'm Laura. And this is Gabby. And we're in Year 8 at Wanganui in 2015. And we are here to inform you about how Wanganui's performing arts program has evolved over the past 40 years. Hi, I'm Stephen Sargent. I've been teaching at Wanganui for 24 years. I teach music. I'm a music teacher. When I started, there was a small group of instrumental students who were being taught by Robert Barnbrook. Over the years, the program has grown in size. <laughs> oh, I want a pizza. Another part of the instrumental music program are the ensembles. These include ensembles for piano, percussion, strings, brass, woodwind and the combined orchestra. I'm Wendy Oakes and I work with the string students at Wanganui Park Secondary College and I conduct a junior string ensemble and a senior string ensemble and the Wanganui Orchestra. Uh, the orchestra started up last year in 2014 in, at the start of second term. I think the best part about orchestra is the fact that it combines all the different types of instruments. So you've got woodwind and percussion and brass and string. So you've got this magnificent blend of very different sounds and it's, it's a great feeling when you can balance all of that and, and perform a symphonic piece. Wanganui's Performing Arts Program started thanks to Wanganui's first ever principal, Dorothy Roach. She wanted Wanganui to be known as the music school. Without her, the performing arts section of the school would be very basic and there wouldn't be as many opportunities to participate in, in this area. The dance program at Wanganui has been quite a popular choice. And here is Miss McGregor to explain the evolution of the dance program over the past 40 years. I'm Kyla McGregor. I, um, I teach here at Wanganui in the areas of dance, drama and media. Well, I actually started at Wanganui in 2002. So I worked here for six years. I got dance up and running at Wanganui as a subject um, way back in probably 2002, 2003, somewhere around there. Uh, I really love dancing, it's just, it's a great expression. Um, I think it really allows my students to think outside of the square a bit and then seeing them grow into these, these students who um, have a confidence and, and a sense of self-worth. It, it's really special for me to see that. The Wanganui Performing Arts Program has helped create a band better known as Drinking With The Fly. <laughs> noticed that there wasn't enough money to create a space for musical practices, so they raised enough money to get a space for the school to use. And this is now known as the band room. Wanganui has helped lots of students go on to pursue music, like Felicity Oakes, Meg Sterling, Ben Guppy, Leona Gibbs and Jim McGuffey. When Wanganui was deciding whether to build a sports stadium or a theatre, they chose to make an education and communities activity centre, or the Echo Centre. In 1984, Wanganui put on the production Germs. This was the first ever production to be held in the Echo Centre. After this, they found out that it wasn't really good for this sort of thing. And 20 years later, the Echo Centre was converted into what is now known as the Theatre. I'm Phil Oakes and I've actually been at Wanganui since 1986. The productions have been held in lots and lots of different places besides Westside. We've had productions in G Block, and including right into G7, right in the centre, that was the stage. So I think we had about two or three productions in there. Um, we've had productions before, as I mentioned, in uh, Marquees um, on the front lawn. We've had various styles of productions in the past. We've had um, theatre restaurant type productions. We've had um, Shakespeare productions. We had a production of Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare. That was in G Block. So there have been a, a wide variety of productions that um, Wanganui has produced over the years. 